Hello everyone, Wyatt here, and I'm back in those metamorphic complex mountains, and I'm at that dugout pegmatite, which is right behind me, which some of you might remember. So here's the dugout pegmatite. Hopefully there's some crystals to be found. I might dig through and sift through some of this material and see if I can find anything. But there's one other thing I'm going to check out. What I'm really interested to see is if there's any gold that is trapped in these culvert pipes here. They're not very big, so I'm going to have to find a way to squeeze in there. As you can see, they go ways down in there, so this one is blocked at the entrance, so there's not as much material and water flowing through this one, and that one is the main culvert. It sits a little lower in the ground, it's a little smashed there. But we're going to check it out, maybe pan it, and see what happens, and see what we can get. Down and two of me! It's tight in there. All right, as mentioned, the culvert uh, grooves in there are not deep at all. And since they're not deep, not even large pebbles or stones are staying in there. So it's just this fine sand. The water is going through here so fast. And I imagine during flood stage that everything in there gets wiped out. So I'm not expecting to see much at all. But we'll see what happens. I got a little cramped in there because the ceiling's all smashed down. But those grooves are only about that deep. So there's hardly any depth to them, so everything in there just kind of gets washed out. There's not even these big pebbles are staying in there. Went in there, I did about four or five different pans. No signs of black sand, just really fine mica sand. So no luck here. Might try digging around this pegmatite right here and see if I can find any crystals. There are some crystals to be found. There's little crystal pockets on there. If you can see those. Now as far as resources in this area, such as gold, and crystals, there's nothing marked here on the map. There's no information, and there may or may not be gold here. I've heard stories of people finding gold up here. And there's a, uh, historically, there was one person that found a little bit of gold not too far away from here, but wasn't much. But you never know, so I'm just gonna scout around, see what I can find, I'll show you whatever I find. All right, so I decided to continue along the digging along the same, um, in the same direction as the other people. And I think I found what they were following here. I've got this large seam of quartz, solid quartz. This might be the core, the inner core of the pegmatite. And I'm guessing where this quartz is, wherever the pegmatite has pockets, is where these crystals are forming along this quartz core seam. Oh, there we go. Got some quartz crystals right there, just a tiny little pocket. Now, maybe further back in there, this pocket might open up and there might be some longer crystals around maybe a couple inches or maybe a couple feet. You never know. I'm gonna guess they've got the majority of the good stuff from this pocket, but could open up, you never know. Well, could be a couple more feet until the next pocket, or it could be a couple hundred feet. Never know, but I think it's time to move on, see what other spots we can find. But at least I know now they were following this quartz core. Pretty solid stuff. There's hints of small little pockets, but nothing worth it, so. See the quartz right there on the edge of the pegmatite? The contact? That's the inner core of the pegmatite, probably. All right, let's move on and see what else we can find. All right, so, moved or drove up here a little ways and got this really sandy, silty hillside, but what got my attention was the amount of reflection, reflective material that was on here, so I automatically assumed it was mica books, or just mica flakes, and I just saw one somewhere. There's uh, been some recent logging activity, and I don't know if this sand silt material is 
glacial or just really deteriorated rock. But if you look, you might be able to see how reflective this is. They're not very big, they're just small. Oh, there's a big one. Uh, yeah, that's what was getting my attention. The whole road here is just covered in them. And you spot them and then you don't. I wonder if there's a pe pegmatite nearby. They're getting pretty large, actually. Okay, well, look at that. Wow. I don't want to break it. It's pretty big, it seems. Oh. That's a mica book there. Thick layer. Muscovite there. Wow. I've never seen them that big. And, well, I've never found them this big. I've seen them bigger, but I've never found one. I've never found mica this big. Some thick books. I wonder if there is a pegmatite nearby. Alright, here we go. Here's some of the host rock. Lots of small muscovite books in there. Huh. Stuff's everywhere. That one's a whole different color than the others. Some quartz and feldspar. Wow, you can just see all, there's just tons of muscovite here. Wow. Oh, there's some big sheets. Look at that. Big sheets of muscovite. There's a big book right here, or was a book. See that? Nice. Oh wow, they're getting bigger. Look at that. That's huge, big sheet. That's intense. A huge piece of muscovite. So all of these mountains here are part of the core complex system, so they're metamorphic mountains. So lots of gneiss and igneous uh, plutons. So gneiss is a metamorphic rock, so it's a rock that's changed into a gneiss. So that's either from a previous igneous rock or sedimentary rock. And the gneiss rocks that are here, uh, most of them were from sedimentary rocks, but there are some gneiss rocks here that were originally igneous rocks. Some of the better rock. Looking at that piece. Some quartz in there. With muscovite, of course. That's almost like a little pocket. Not quite. You may not be able to see it, but it looks like there might be a vein of pegmatite right up there. And right here, some very coarse grained rock with biotite books and muscovite and some large chunks of feldspar so that's probably the vein up there another chunk there's like a little seam and there's like perfectly clear quartz in there there's an interesting mineral not sure what that is right there little line of it that is definitely a pegmatite vein and I just found this heavy piece of Muscovite, that's a nice thick book right there. And here's the pegmatite vein. Got little lines of quartz that are running through the feldspars. Now, if they were a little larger, there could be a pocket of crystal somewhere. Another look at it. Another quartz seam. Now, if only those opened up into nice crystals. Big chunk of feldspar, there's mica muscovite in there. Almost looks like uh, breccia. Almost. It's interesting. 
All right, so another thing that can be found up here are quartz lenses. So they're basically giant outcrops of quartz and quartz veins, and I just found some, I believe. Large chunk of quartz. Just a huge monster chunk of quartz here. I could easily, you know, load that up in the back of my car and take it home. No problem. I did bring my uh, gold bug. I could try it out real quick on this massive chunk of quartz. I think I will. All right. There's a chunk right here. That's pretty nice. Let me put on iron discriminate. Nothing. Get a closer look at that. There's like little quartz crystal pieces in here. Looks like we might have some hematite. That's what's probably setting it off. Oh, there's a tiny little smoky quartz crystal right there. Don't know if you can see that. Just a little point. Right there. This is another terminated quartz crystal right there. Yeah, it looks like it's mainly hematite in here. There's a little side of a crystal. Looks like there's a seam comes up here with crystals. That's a good size one there too. Or it would be, but I'm not going to be able to get that out. Alright, so I came just above where I found those large pieces of quartz and started finding some more peg pegmatite looking material. Look at all those muscovite and biotite books. Not only that, people have been uh, digging in here, so there's a couple holes here and there, so there might actually be some crystals here. There's got to be some crystals around here somewhere. If you look really closely. I forgot what they call that. There's some more right there, really tiny shiny points they have a name for that but it's a very interesting rock here little pocket I noticed this darker red quartz here it stood out amongst everything else there's some tiny crystals in there do you see that they're all joined together in a sealed pocket but maybe there's a bigger pocket yet to be found somewhere around here. Maybe. Well, if there's any gold in here, I think this would be a great spot to check. Right in this Glen Pool area, there's another pool right here. It's pretty deep as well. I might come back here in a couple months when the water level's a little lower, so I can actually see how deep that is and what's going on, because right now I can't see anything in there. That's the farthest I've ever gone into these mountains, about 15, 20 miles. And today I just spent it doing exploration, seeing what's there. There's lots of pegmatite veins, huge quartz lens area. And it looks like there's some potential for some crystals out here somewhere. There were some other people I ran into that were looking for them, so they're out here. Speaking of quartz crystals, me and my buddy Jesse the other day, we went out to a dig site to look for them. I'll put a couple little clips at the end here for anyone that wants to see those. Uh, they should be at the end. I did find a couple broken crystal tips from uh, the pegmatite, a couple quartz pieces. Anyways, this will do it for today. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Jesse's oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, nope. He definitely knocked out some good quartz. Yeah, there's actually a good little chunk going right here. <laughs> I'm just kind of sifting through what you knocked over. Some of it actually has partial like faces and bits on it. Well, I just found this broken tip, of course, and it was right on the top. You know, easy to get, but... All right, just digging away. Just pulled that one out. It's just a broken little tip there, but... Let's see the point there. <laughs>